Ooh, I can't wait to take this hair down. When you saw the fast start that the starters got off to, how does that then like energize the rest of the bench as, as you guys start? start? You've seen that you know they set the tone and guys came in and followed. Um, that's what you know we have to do you know moving forward. And it gives us a, a chance to like you know really put our imprint on the game the way we did. You know we came out on both ends of the floor and we you know we did really well. Got out, created just created transition points, and the way the ball moves tonight was you know really excellent. Third game back for, for Kelly from from his injury. Just how does he look in, in your eyes? He's looking good. You know, like you said, he's still building up, man. He gives you know Nick a, another niche to you know play around with. So you know, he looks really good, and I, I'm I'm glad that we got him back. You know, it was you know he did really well with his recovery. You know, he took it very seriously, and you know his training staff and everyone you know was was on it. So you know, it feels good to have him back, and you know he looks really good. You had some time tonight, but the last couple of games you hadn't played and opportunities that probably would have fit in well. I guess, is it hard for you to sort of not get those opportunities? You just, I just went through a whole year that, no. <laughs> no, not at all. We're a D team, so no, it does not. you have with Nick or no? No, nah, I mean, it's just the way that he's still figuring out lineup. So, you know, whatever happens, you know, go in. You just stay ready. That's a prime example. How do you keep yourself ready when your role might change night to night? Listen, you gotta be prepared. You gotta be a pro. You know, and every time you step on that court, your name's called. You gotta be. Able, you gotta be prepared. That's it. And then that, I went through the stuff when I went through in LA. You know, everybody. You know, asked the same questions. How do I stay ready? It's a mental thing. You've known Pat for a really long time, but this iteration of Pat, Bev, what does he bring to this team, maybe internally, that we don't see? Uh, a grit, a grind, that that underdog mentality, that get it out the mud. You know, I, like I said, I've known Pat since we were teenagers, and you know, I've seen his journey. Um, you know, being kids from Chicago, like I've I've been a part of like a lot of things, and you know, he's going going through his his transition of things. So everybody's journey is different, but you know, the fact that he's been consistent with. You know, staying persistent throughout his journey, you know, putting the time in, putting the work in. You know, that's what, you know, we was teammates before my rookie year. You know, I seen the thing. And Pat has just evolved throughout that time. So it was just as crazy as it was back then. Um, but he brings that mentality, that leadership that, you know, this team needs. What have you observed about his relationship with Tyrese? Oh, he wants Tyrese to be the greatest he can be, and he want, he gonna push him as much as he can. You know that's what he's a, he's a great veteran, and you know got, having uh, Nick Pat Beverly on his team, like I said, his his leadership alone it speaks volume because you hear it, and he's not quiet about it. like you you know what you're gonna get from Pat day in day out. Is there like a, a line that you have to kind of manage when you're pushing young guys, and like you know, if you push too far, you can, you know, get another skin and lose them. Or nah, you gotta understand this. This is a this is a man's league. Um, you know, you people that are veterans. You know, we we have to push, like you said, because you know, there's no baby in this league. You know, one thing about it, you just gotta you know take your veterans. Because I've had veterans that yelled at that, you know, talk to me differently. You know, I've had veterans that, you know, talk to me quietly. Like, it's just a matter of, like, different perspectives. Like, whatever, whatever case, you know, how the, the message is based off the person that is, you're not going to get the same approach from everybody. You know, somebody has to, you know, it's, it's trying to see who can light a fire on you. And that's what it's all about. This game tonight obviously unfolded a lot differently than the game in D.C. last week when it went down the wire. You guys needed 50 points from Joe. Just did... The way that game went inform anything about tonight, or or is it just the sort of two different games and you can't really compare the two of them? Well, our approach is different. Yeah. I, I, um, our feel for the game, we came out, we set the tone, and not allowed them to, you know, set the tone last, like they did last game. Um, and like I said, we enforced our will. You know, throughout the game, and we never let up, and that's what we was able to, you know, push through and, you know, separate ourselves the way we did. You talked about your relationship with Pat, and then you also have, you know, you came over with Nico and, and Marcus, and oh, there's so much familiarity, it feels like, amongst uh, that group of guys with this team. How much does that help that transition become pretty seamless, it seems like? I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Like I said, uh, us guys coming over together, and then for me, being from, being basically growing up here, you know, as an NBA player, um, I'm very familiar with the city, so my transition here wasn't as bad. 
Um, you know, Marcus being from here, you know, helps as well. He has a lot of family here, a lot of friends. Like I said, I have a lot of people here as well. So, you know, just having that connection in itself, it, it it's a great aspect to have because, like, it's not like you coming in unfamiliar territory. You know, the transition of, you know, us coming and being in familiar territory helps the guys that came with us. And, and like I said, we point them kind of in the right direction. Looks like on defense, yeah. Looks like on defense you're communicating a lot and always stunting like at the top and near the nail and helping all the time. Like, how serious did you take that role as kind of like just being a defensive leader for this team? Just the energy and like ability to bring on that end. That's my job. That's just, that's how I set the tone. You know, I, I'm the guy that you know brings that energy, brings that effort, and you know if I don't do it, who else will? Like I said, it's it's a mentality of like that's what makes my presence felt on the floor. That's what my job is, and that's what I do best. Have you seen the set that you like, lead the league in deflections per 100 or stuff like it's that? It's not the first time. <laughs> <laughs> it's not the first time. It won't be the last. Mm-hmm.